Dementia is a scary condition. In fact, surveys of elderly adults show it causes even more fear than cancer. And it's not hard to understand why. We fear being left in an empty shell of a body, disconnected from the outside world, totally reliant upon others. Now the term dementia is often used interchangeably with Alzheimer's disease, which is responsible for about 70% of cases. And given the magnitude of the problem, it probably shouldn't surprise you that drug companies are throwing billions of dollars at this problem. The problem is, despite huge amounts of money being spent, we're no closer to a cure than we were when it was first described a little over 100 years ago. And one of the major reasons for this is because billions of dollars are being pumped into genetics, ignoring the obvious fact that Alzheimer's is a modern disease even while our genetics haven't changed. Barely more than 100 years ago, it had never even been described, let alone seen at the colossal rates we're now seeing. To blame genetics for a modern disease makes no sense. Rather, Alzheimer's is a metabolic disease influenced by diet and lifestyle. This is an elegant study which clearly demonstrates this fact. It compared the rate of Alzheimer's disease in two genetically identical populations in different parts of the world. These two populations, recruited from Indianapolis in the USA and a single city in Nigeria, were historically linked by the slave trade, thus leading to their genetic similarity. So then, what do you think the investigators found? Well, in the USA where only 2% of the population over the age of 60 has been shown to be metabolically healthy, the rate of Alzheimer's disease was two and a half times greater than the genetically identical population in Nigeria. And this also holds true for those who carry the ApoE4 gene, commonly known as the Alzheimer's gene. It only confers an increased risk of dementia if you were not metabolically healthy. And given that rates of metabolic illness are increasing, it makes sense that the rate of Alzheimer's too is increasing. Indeed, the risk attached to carrying the ApoE4 gene appears to be increasing with time, despite the genetics being the same. For example, this older study found carrying the ApoE4 gene increased the risk of Alzheimer's by less than two, while modern studies can report risks of 10 times or more. And even then, this study found the increased risk only existed in patients with evidence of small blood vessel disease in their brain, something usually caused by metabolic disease. Essentially, the development of dementia is largely dependent on being metabolically unwell. But despite the fact that dementia rates are rapidly rising and genetics are not changing, we're still in the curious situation where the medical profession is still focusing on genetic risk factors.